Flesh, blood. The woman does not want to open the door. She has failed or has neglected or refused or such, whichever you will. Flat out, it can be said, to respond. The voices implore her. The house smells of wax and of sanitary poison. Perhaps they will believe, she tells herself, she's gone to sleep. Silence, said the woman. They were up in the attic, the crawl space again. The neighbor had a weapon, out in the AM bandana on the neck, checked vest and fine tanned arms, the aim too high. Damnation, she said. The woman, not the neighbor, was my mother, which should not surprise you. We do not live in a place like this. Look at this. Wash, she said. It was hanging like flags, a nation of wrung-out bodily shapes, stained, not ours, not ours, a mad woman's torso. Ours was in the house. What they left was evidence, a hole in the wall up under the eaves, intruders of nature, the gutter where the leaves collected in the fall. It was supposed to be nice. Someone would be paid for this to settle this, or so my mother said, and winter, when it came, would do the rest. In the museum, I watched the chickens hatch. Too cold to go out. It is never as cold as it was anymore back then, downed up and shivering. I was sent there to play and watch the spectacle of birth. Always there was scurrying, too many offspring, the neighbor asserted. One is too many, I heard my mother say, although apropos of what, I do not know. Quiet, she liked, and weaponlessness. You could put out an eye. The newborn stumbled into the springtime under the glass as if stunned by the light. Their feathers were wet. Knock on wood. I have not been in years. The exhibit was a designated permanent fixture, but sadly, the neighborhood, my mother said, went. My mother left a message on the answering machine in which she spelled the word nails. She asked me to call her. She asked if I were possibly already home. It was a product she wanted, a hardening agent. I need you to buy it and mail it, she said. My mother's hands are lovely, I might add. The man who was my father asked me a question, whether the house in a story I had written was symbolic of the body, but whose he did not say. When he left, he left behind a drawer of items. We couldn't have sold them. What have you got in there, the neighbor said. She was polishing a barrel. The ceiling pouched. Birds broke and entered. Carriers, wreckers of homes, then squirrels, hoarders, and last of all, water. Tap, tap, tap. A peck on the cheek, a rag in the voice. The drawer was stuck, the laundry defeated, and Mrs. Bandana was missing a tooth. Still, men came to look. Varmints, she said. My father left directions for the answering machine. They are waiting out loud as children do. There is never a minute of peace in this house, and nothing unbroken it seems to her, not even the past nor even her silence. Nothing is even. Where is your father? Again and again, not off the hook. The telephone ringing, it always is. Too many extensions. Somebody all the time listening in, cutting in, needing something more or less. Love me. No moment is sacred and all of them are. The sun is on the floor because it has to be probably. The hand as you'd expect is at a knob. Already there are fingerprints. She blinks at a threshold. Who is the woman? Who is the woman now? <laughs>